one in six women will be attacked during their lifetime. That's what the stats say. And that, that concerns me. Does it worry you guys? I mean, really, it should. I mean, that means that out of this audience, 15 people will be attacked at some point. Now, today, I want to arm every single one of you so something like this never happens to you. That's it. That's how long it takes. The woman being attacked in that video is Angelina Pavernik, former star of MTV's Jersey Shore. Hi. Hi, I'm Alan. Nice to meet you, Angelina. Have a seat. Okay, so I'm Alan. I'm the director of Krav Maga Global. It's an Israeli self-defense system, and very practical, very effective. Tell me about your situation. I know you're afraid of being attacked. Why? People look at me as like the bitch of the Jersey Shore, so they actually have that like thought of me in their mind, even before they meet me. So they kind of like judge a book by its cover. There are a lot of haters that hate on me. They hate on the whole cast, to be honest with you. And you know what, it is what it is, and I'm trying to basically get over my fear and like be able to just go to the mall and park in like a really close spot. Or when I go to a club, I park my car far away, just in case I don't want people to like key my car. The fact that you're actually taking some steps, like parking far away, automatically will also open up the door for people that are a lot more serious. So where it's not just uh, the girl that's just being catty, but it's a guy that actually sees you as a target and as an opportunity and decides to do something more. We're going to actually address some of these issues and we're going to teach you some fighting strategies, address the danger as it develops and also in some cases prevent it. So we want to be able to actually test your ability to react. Within the next 10 hours, you're going to be attacked. You don't know when or where. It's really about exposing ourselves to that situation before it's actually a real life-threatening situation. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so the plan was for you to get attacked. That must have been crazy to realize that somebody's going to attack you within 10 hours at any point. Did you have any sense how you'd respond when the guy attacked? I had nervous? no idea. I was so nervous. Oh, my yeah. gosh. I was so nervous, and I, I didn't know when it was going to happen, so that was really crazy. All right, so you went about your day, and then let's see what happened. So how did you feel? Did you feel, because you didn't do anything, did you feel paralyzed? Did you feel like you could do something? What is it? I was just like in total shock. Like my body just froze. I'm like, because I, I had no chance to react at all. Did you see him coming at all? Or no, no, I had no idea. I didn't see you coming. I, I think you responded the way many women respond, which is a natural physiologic response, was to freeze Yes. terror, frozen terror. But it's exactly the wrong thing to do. Now your attacker is in the audience, uh, Stefan. If uh, if you'd really been an attacker, what do you think would have happened? I could do the attack right there. I could uh, sweep her up, knock her out, put her in a vehicle, take her to a secondary crime scene. And then it just gets worse, more nightmare. Beaten, raped, tortured, murdered, never to be seen again. They subdue them there, and then once they go in the car, it's all over, right? Yes, that's well, why fighting is so important. Got to not get in the car. Absolutely, do not. And, and so they don't take where the really bad stuff goes down is the second location. Correct. That's where you come become a filet o Angelina. <laughs> okay, Angelina, like I told you before, training Krav Maga is really about turning the tables on the attacker. So today we're going to focus more on the aggressive side. Let's see how aggressive you can get. Picture my face over here and just go. Hard. Come on. Hard, hard, hard. Good, in time. Just put yourself in a place where your hands are relevant. Two punches. Bam, bam. Let's go. There you go. Put it together. Bam, 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 bam. Self-defense is about really the willingness to take the fight as deep as he decided to take it. Try to go for a joint. Yeah, nice and strong. I think you're making an omelet down there. Go. Good. Okay, so let's go to the bear hug. That's the problem. <laughs> Ideally, if he's here, I want you to bend forward the waist a second. Good. And hit him in the groin. Go. Good. There you go. Push away and get out. Okay. Now, if he lifts you, this foot, kick, boom. There you go. Down, slap, and get out. Faster though, without fixing the hair. The hair is fine. To my yeah. face. If I can cut him, let's go. Let's go. Yes, right, go. Boom. There you go. Down, slap, and get out. Somebody comes and grabs here. Need to look at him, and then from here you can stay in and attack. Boom. That's right. Good. Last time. Boom. Good. Okay, we covered a lot of things today. You actually think that now you'll be able to use some of the skills you learned. 
Yeah, definitely. You guys definitely taught me well today. In the next 10 to 20 hours, you'll be attacked again. I want to see how you handle yourself. Just remember, it's about prevailing. It's not about winning. We'll see. see. We'll see what I, uh, what I can do over here. Bye. Bye. Please welcome Alan Predlin, Chief Instructor for Krav Maga Global, to the show. Yeah, Angelina was saying when you said she was going to be attacked again, it was. A <laughs> it was. <laughs> and since then, she's been on the alert. It's, you're still on the alert now, I hope. I, I definitely am. Because isn't that really one of the points? Is be alert. Absolutely. Be aware of your surroundings. And that's always the thing that is most difficult, you know. And, and unfortunately, you cannot always be like that. What was it like teaching Angelina? How'd she do? It was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> she's definitely a, a fire. And uh, but, you know, the key thing that I wanted to achieve with Angelina is to really make sure that. If something like that ever happened to her in real life, she will be able to turn the tables and make the attacker into the person that is actually attacked. So the real takeaway for people at home is to attack, turn the tables, attack, attack, don't give up, and get out of there, call for help, scream, make noise, those kinds of things? Absolutely. I mean, unfortunately, too many times, even with people like me, they focus too much on technique. So it's really that willingness to survive and that fight. People are not looking for fighters, they're looking for victims. What do you think victimizers are looking for when they find their victims? Usually the easiest thing is unfortunately to point out is when we're all distracted at this point. Cell phone, when we're not aware of our surroundings, uh, when we also feel intimidated by just our environment, we'll look down. We'll use, so they can sense that? Absolutely. They can see weakness. They can smell it. And now it seemed like, I bet you most women be sort of not fearful but intimidated about hurting somebody and you have to like be willing to hurt somebody to, to save your life right absolutely that's the toughest thing that we actually find that sometimes people are just not willing to do what's necessary to get out of it and psychologically we try to bring out that in training not just physically in a way is the easy part is really that willingness to do what's necessary and go at any vulnerable part of the, of the attacker right absolutely i mean it's it, that's again in a, in a stressful situation to still remember what to attack so that size does matter but certain things like eyes groin uh, throat, knees, really are pretty much the same for everybody. And she does it, yeah, eyes growing, throat, knees. <laughs> got, it, got it, got it. But her training wasn't over in that footage. You just her newly trained self-defense skills to the test. As you heard, we gave her a warning that sometime that next 10-hour period, she was going to be attacked again. And here it goes. Control this time when he came and he, he grabbed me from behind. I like his <laughs> like he told me to. And then when I got on top of him, I just like went nuts. It's not a fight you're trying to win over there, so keep on Come moving. On. That's right. What was your fear level you think compared to last time? I felt definitely more confident this time. Try to be scared now. You're Better watch out. Video. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he tried to kick you in the ground. You did three times. So <laughs> he kicked ass. Thank now you. let's get to second class and see how much better we can get. I'm ready. Let's, let's go. go. That's what I'm talking about, Andrew. It's funny, I've, I've watched that footage twice. I get emotional. I get so excited for it. I didn't know Thank what it you. is. It's like, that's the way to do this. Uh, Thank you, you. You went from being somebody who became paralyzed, somebody empowered. And it was definitely uh, awesome. I mean, you really helped me. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. So next great. time they come up to your mall, they better watch out. Better watch out because I am not going down without a fight this time. That's it. <laughs> now, Joey, the, the unfortunate, that's well done. Joey, the unfortunate, um, shall we say, receiver of your self-defense training, uh, is in the audience with us. Joey, what, what, how'd she do this time? She did great. I had a plan, and that plan went south. <laughs> she completely disrupted it. I wanted to take her away. She hit me. I, all I could think about was, you know. Protecting yeah. yourself. No, I know you were coming. Not getting she, she, she hit me. It was yeah. good. I had a headache all day. On your head. I know. It was awesome. The makeup covered it up. No, no she did awesome, though. Thank you. Angelina Pavarnik, formerly of MTV's Jersey Shore, and maybe someday yet to be again, participated in our Life Changes Road Test to help her get over being frightened of an attack. Now, we organized two attacks on Angelina. You saw the first one at the beginning of the show where she was absolutely paralyzed with uh, a fear, a very common response to being attacked. But after learning the self-defense technique of Krav Maga, the second time we attacked Angelina, well, you saw what happened, and Joey is the unfortunate recipient of a couple of 
wounds he's <laughs> licking to this day. Now, uh, Alan, you have a demonstration for us to give people an understanding of exactly what the potential scenarios are and what they can do to protect themselves. Absolutely. Now, we set up three scenarios based on the distance. Okay, what's our first one? In the first scenario, Jeannie actually uh, sees the attack kind of developing. She sees there's something wrong. She grabs her mascara from her purse, so she's already mentally and physically taking proactive steps to succeed. So that, okay, so hold on a second. So she, you tell me the mascara is a weapon? Absolutely, it's an impact weapon. Anything can be a weapon with the right way. The key thing is not just the mascara, but even just Jeannie taking that action, it made her already more proactive. She's already in that fighter mode. She's not just in a full reactive mode. So hold on a second. I'm, I'm gonna call my wife and my daughter right now and tell them to put one of those mascara containers in their purse. Absolutely. Forget the maze, just the mascara. Even just knowing, <laughs> even just knowing what's in your purse is going to help, really. So if you're reaching for already. something. <laughs> you should. Come on. The big bottle of mascara. Yeah. Anyway, from this point, you know, she's actually using, like I said, the mascara as an impact weapon, going for targets like the eyes, the face, that are also going to be distracting. Heading to the groin, it's always good and it's always fun, okay? Making sure that, again, <laughs> she continue attacking, and at this point, she can just turn away and dig again as fast as possible, look for help, even other weapons of opportunity or call the Got police. It. All right, the second attack. Second attack, instead, Jeannie is not aware that the attacker is behind her, very similar to what happened to Angelina. He's gonna grab her and shut her down. Okay, at this point, she's gonna go for the groin. Again, drop it down. He, she's going again for groin, no, eyes. It, hold on now, is the goal just to get away so you can run? Absolutely. Just get away. It's always about putting, the, uh, putting Jeannie in a place where she can fight and not fight, just... Fight, take it to the attacker, but then run. Absolutely. You run as soon as you can, as soon as you... Always, as soon as you can, sometimes it's too soon. It's too many people I emphasize running away, and then all of a sudden, like Stefan was saying before, it goes from primary to secondary. So he'll come after her Absolutely. unless he's disabled. You have to make sure you address him fully. You have and to then beat him first and then run. Beat Kinda him like first. she did. Kinda Beat him down, then run, and then when he's the down, go after him a few more times. Like <laughs> Just get him to try a little bit more, and that then run. That insult to injury, it's always good. And, you know? and, and then scream, yell for help the entire Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Yeah. Scream, yell, get attention. Even, like I said before, grab other weapons of opportunity and just take off. And the third attack. The third attack is going to be when Kyle, instead, was able to get in close. He's going to grab her by the throat, shove her to the ground. Okay, She's going to put her feet in between him in between him and her and just get up and, and take off. The so get the, when they're down on the ground like that, when he's on top of you, get your leg, get your strongest muscle group involved. Absolutely. And also, like I said, let's remember, right now we're using, you know, just for sake of training, some shoes are a little bit more user friendly. Yeah, we know she had heels on. Heels on, there are gonna be some positive negatives, especially in that scenario, obviously kicking somebody with heels on the bottom is gonna be awesome. And then, but the shoes I imagine come off when you try to run anyway. Absolutely, I mean, and that's a mobility. They're gonna come off, in most cases you see all the time, shoes uh, left behind. Yeah. Uh, and uh, don't think too much, react, don't think of acting, cause that's gonna be really a problem. Just fight, survive, and leave. Okay, well thank you Jeannie and Joey, appreciate it. Now let's uh, <laughs> step on down here. So, uh, I, I, want, I want to be really clear what the takeaways are for people at home. So let's recap what it is. So it, you, what are the three must-knows that... First, you know, make sure that you're aware of your surroundings. So aware of surroundings, number Absolutely. two. Absolutely. Don't put yourself in harm's way. Well, that's, that's part of one, I suppose. I, have to, I guess. Uh, and then and the main thing one is really to be sure that you're willing to fight and do everything necessary to go home. So fight and don't stop. Absolutely. And then three, Never give up. And then Never give up. And then get out of there. And then get out of there as soon as possible. Call the police. Call for help. Don't try to win necessarily. Leave. So yep. dis di make sure you disable them sufficiently. You can get away and then get away and scream Absolutely. and yell all the way. And again, one last little refined point here. I, to, re to get people to remember what the vulnerable areas are that you want to hit these attackers that will disable them. Absolutely. Eyes, throat, and groin pretty much are the same for everybody. It's very difficult to work out your eyeballs. <laughs> you know, so you want to make I'm sure that right. again, you think of always being How, how would she meaner. attack my eyes? Just I'm curious, because I didn't see that in the tape. But with glasses, that? that's oh, cheating. Yeah, you wear glasses. <laughs> all, right, all right, I'll take them off. So. You're just supposed to just like put your finger. That's just, right. Like, Go you can go and you can just do it as ahead. hard as you can. Just don't do it hard. No, no, no. But just, but just position there because I think people That's just right. see that. And you then just like go in there. And if you have nails, it's even better. <laughs> just like. All right, listen. Take those to heart. Listen to these tips. It could save lives. We'll be right back.